One, two, three. <laughs> Subtle. Supple. <laughs> All right, here I come. Ha. Hello to all the hair besties in the land. I'm here with Omar, who is our model. And we have Nora, our artistic team member. And today we are talking about the superpower colors Blue Mystique. And Green Aurora. It rhymes with your name, it Nora. It does, Aurora. Nora. Nora. <laughs> do you feel like a superhero, Omar? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah? What, what, what would you do if you had superpowers? Well, I think I might like invisibility. Oh! That's a good one. Okay, well, you're not gonna be invisible because we're gonna turn you blue and green. Ready to get started? Let's, let's go. go. Fly, come on, let's fly. <laughs> Nora, take off that cape and no, give it to it's Omar. My, it's my you're, superhero, like. You are Supergirl. Cape. Turn around, let's see your identity. Yes, give him the identity cape. Oh. Okay, you're gonna wear the cape. We are gonna use Big Nine on Omar today because we can lift him up to nine, 10 levels sometimes, Ten, which right? is a perfect canvas for blue. Because remember guys, when you're putting blue color over the hair and there's any yellow left, mm -hmm. what do you get? Green. Green. With Big Nine, I like to measure it one to one half ratio. You can do one to two, you're gonna get a looser consistency. But my favorite with Big Nine is one to one half. So then now, <laughs> I'm gonna use the Dedicate Developer with my identity at 40 volume. Look at that rose gold bowl though. So pretty. And let's whisk her up. The important thing about whisking is to start slow and then move quickly. You can even put a little shimmy in it. Put a shimmy. Um, but also, I think it's important to use like a silicone or a rubber whisk if the, um, Whisk is metal, it could have a weird chemical reaction with right. the Right, like product. it could get hot and stuff. Yeah. So don't use a metal whisk. And we are gonna use foils. This is very important because foils conduct heat and it also gives an even lift. So let's analyze color placement. When looking at Omar's hair, you can choose to bleach out his whole head, but I think that's very high maintenance. He's not someone who's gonna go to the salon and all of a sudden like within a couple of weeks, it just looks, you know, crazy, right? Mm -hmm. We could go in and dissect where we want to place it. Think about when you have um, in your house, you want to have an accent wall, right? So where do you want your accent wall? So I'm looking as he turned here, he has a lot of length right here. I want to accentuate his length. We can choose to glaze the back part darker so it gives the front highlight panel a, a place to shine. So since he parts his hair over this way, I wanna go in kind of like an angle here. So I'm gonna work back to back foils going all the way down until I hit the long points of Omar's hair. But I do wanna leave a little bit of the natural out. That way it, it takes on a different tone, it creates dimension. Thin slice is key here, and I elevate the hair all the way up, going this way, and I do one push to back comb the hair and bring the hair down, and I'm gonna do another push. I'm actually gonna fold it outwards just in case I need to go back in, okay? So you'll see me press it nice and flat. Make sure you're able to see through the hair, and make sure your Big Nine lightener is thoroughly mixed. Big Nine's gonna lift his hair up really, really light in just 30 minutes. Make sure you penetrate by spreading the hair out, but you'll see me go in slightly vertically with the brush and kind of feather it up because you don't want like a straight line right at the top. Otherwise, it's gonna have a harsh demarcation line. So you'll see me fold the foil once and then twice over, but do not create a crease here. You do wanna have a little bit of a bubble. That bubble ensures that there's room for expansion and also you don't press and put a crease in the hair. Just use the clip and just clip it out the way in the corner and repeat and do the same thing again. One back comb and then drag the hair back down and push it up to the scalp. It's okay to go in horizontally first and then feather vertically up. Just like that. And I'm probably gonna do about six back-to-back -back foils, repeating the same technique until we get down to his face frame. So I took very thin slices of Omar's hair back-to-back -back foils. As you can see here, it kind of fans and wing over. I leave a little bit of veil on the left side of his head and I'm gonna leave a little veil on the right side of his head. Leave a platform for the highlight to spring off of. You spread it like butter and just melts right in. Fold this up, okay? Look how nice that look while it's processing, right? So I'm gonna spin him around this away. So let's unfold and <gasps> wow. That was quick. That was super quick, he's already lifted. So what I like to do is actually hit it, hit it from the back. What sucks the most, guys, is 
if you open the foils up like 40 minutes and processing and then there's like spots that wasn't lifted, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do this and then process for 30 minutes. All right, so we're back with Omar and 30 minutes, look how high he lifted. He lifted up to a level 10. And if anything is crazy, did you notice it feels softer? It does, it feels much softer than his natural, natural hair. Like I'm feeling his natural hair and I could feel the roughness and then I touch the blonde part. It's just insane, right? It's like so silky. Okay, so when I turn his head, look at the placement. Do you guys see what's happening here? It's like an accent wall in your home. So he could be a little convertible. He could swing it this way, right? to the left or to the right, and look at that color. Look how awesome that looks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna get the color mixing. Where is it? Okay. Okay, so now we're squeezing out blue mystique, and you can see the depth and tone of this blue. It's, I like to call it like a royal blue. So it lasts longer, it looks deeper. You could use this to create like a blue black even. So I'm just gonna paint on the mesh sheet here. So you guys get to see that depth. It matches my nails. Okay, so now we're gonna use the green Aurora. It has lots of depth. It has a lot of depth. Depth. De I can't even say that word today. It has a lot of depth. <laughs> depth. Depth. I'm having a lisp problem here. All right, you ready to get started? Let's do it. Now I'm gonna go in and start from the bottom and work my way up, taking thin slices, right? Okay, tuck her in. I'm gonna go in with the blue mystique. So I'm just gonna drag this color all the way down. I feel like neat foil application is very, very important because it looks nice. And you guys, I always fold the flap out just in case I have to go back in and I'm able to anchor it back. So I'm gonna put the blue right at the routage and I'm gonna drag the blue a little bit lower. Hey, take notice that I did bring in some of his brown. That's okay, don't worry about it. It's gonna all harmonize together. Then I'm gonna get the green Aurora, put it down on the ends first, just like that, and then turn the brush vertically and blend the tones in, just like so. Take a look, there's nothing here. There's no product here. So I'm able to fold this on top of itself and not worry about the hair smashing on top of each other, right? So to get even more creative, put the blue down first. So right on the right side, I'm gonna stroke a little bit lower, just like that, and bring the blue all the way down, right? And lay the green right beside it. So that way you have some low lights, if you will, within the blocking. So it's not just like, blue to green, blue to green all the way up, it gets kind of basic or boring. Redundant. Yeah. Redundant, right? Again, you could fold it up on top of itself and not worry about the bleedage. And fold it up one more time, and I'm gonna repeat that till I get to the back. Me, 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 me. Okay, so we just finished foiling Omar's hair here with all of the superpower direct dyes. Now we're gonna glaze his hair all around outside globally with 3MB Midnight Blue. You know, you can choose to do it one to one ratio or one to two ratio. When you do it one to two ratio, you get a pH of 6.1 to 6.5. When you do it one to one ratio, you get a pH of 6.6 .6 to 6.9. So you get a little bit more of a budge of the cuticles. So you also get more pigment because it's one to one. It's not as diluted, if you will. But I personally like to do it one to two most of the time just because it spreads well and it's also more acidic, so it adds more shine. But sometimes you need to really pack a punch. So since this hair needs a little punch in, you know, we're gonna do it one to one. Okay, so we're gonna whisk her up and we're gonna apply this all over his head. If you take a look at his hair closely, you see that he does have a little bit of gray. So those areas are gonna pick up the blue tone very well. Mix it one to one, ensure that the gray resistant hair will suck up the pigment. And of course the areas that you see that's a level five brown, that's gonna become a little bit darker. Sometimes it appears almost blackish because the blue cancel out so much warmth, it almost looked like a blue black, right? So if you put 3MB over pre-lightened hair that's been lifted to a 10, you get a very smoky blue color, mm -hmm. right? So let's apply this, Nora. So another thing is when dealing with oxidative colors, whether it's demi or permanent, just know that when you first mix it in a bowl, it is not what you see, it's what you get, like it would be with a direct dye, right? So it might look a little bit tealish, but don't fear. Gotta trust the process. And after we finish doing this, we're gonna let him process for a full 25 minutes. And another thing is if you really want to really lodge the dyes into the cuticle, you could also put their hair under a heat lamp, usually for like 10, 15 minutes and then let it cool down for another 10 to 15. Cooling is really important because it lets everything sink in and close. Seal. Seal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so make sure you guys rinse this hair out with cool water because if you use hot water, direct dyes can slide out, okay? All right, we'll be back. We are back with Omar, guys. I am so excited. I don't even know what to say. Lost the words, Nora? I'm, s I can't. It's amazing. I love this color so much. Omar, how do you feel? Like a superhero. Well, you look like a superhero. <laughs> you know what I love the most, Nora? I love the 3 MB as the base. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds crazy, but me putting my hair next to him, I was like, oh my God, I need the 3 MB. It's like a smoke wood. Mm -hmm. That's it's a cool thing. Super smoky and steel looking. Exactly. Uh, 3 MB isn't just for pre lightened hair to get blue tones, it's also for smoking out the base of his natural brown and just give it that that coolness that he needed to mm -hmm. harmonize with. Yeah, and it kind of camouflaged his natural grays as well. Oh yeah. So I think a really important thing to know whenever you're rinsing colors like this, especially if you're using multiple tones, is cold water and section each section at a time if you can, because otherwise the colors will all bleed together and you want each color to be its own star and pop. Yeah, and the placement is key too. Taking it diagonally this way, that I could like swoop his hair to the left, and you see all the definition, or swoop it, swoop, <laughs> all the way to the right. And he can move either way, and it shows off all the dimension. That green, mm -hmm. the aurora, is everything. It is. And the blue mystique just have so much like I can't describe it. It's almost like electric. Mm -hmm. It's dark, deep, but yet it kind of reflects a lot, which is hard to find in blue. It's got like a punch. A punch. I mean, Omar, I know you feel a type of way. Like a superhero. A superhero? <laughs> oh, you even sound oh, like a superhero. Oh, yes, he voice. sure does. It's like, I am a Batman. Do it again. Do that voice. I'm not Batman. Oh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? I'm Omar. You're Omar. Well, we, we know that, but now you're just sexy Omar. <laughs> Blue and green mystique, man. Yo, okay. <laughs> you guys, leave comments below, hair besties. Tell me what you think. Do you like the green Aurora or the blue mystique or the midnight blue? That, or all three. Or all three of them together. You guys need to try it. Do yourself a favor. Pick it up now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow Nora, me, and thumbs on up. Instagram, thumbs up and all that good stuff. Okay, love you much. And Facebook too. That's kind of important. Uh, uh, I don't know what that was, but I did it anyway. <laughs>